Friday, April 2nd, 1943. Dear Kitty, Oh dear, I've got another terrible black mark against my name. I was lying in bed yesterday evening waiting for my for Daddy to come and say my prayers with me and wish me good night. When Mommy came into my room, sat on my bed and asked very nicely, And Daddy can't come. Shall I say your prayers with you tonight? No, Mommy, I answered. Mommy got up, paused by my bed for a moment, and walked slowly towards the door. Suddenly she turned around and with a distorted look on her face said, I don't want to be cross. Love cannot be forced. There were tears in her eyes as she left the room. I lay still in bed, feeling at once that I had been horrible to push her away so rudely, but I knew, too, that I couldn't have answered differently. It simply wouldn't work. I felt sorry for Mommy, very, very sorry, because I had seen for the first time in my life that she minds my coldness. I saw the look of sorrow on her face when she spoke of love not being forced. It is hard to speak the truth, and yet it is the truth. She herself has pushed me away. Her tactless remarks and her crude jokes, which I don't find at all funny, have now made me insensitive to any love from her side, just as I shrink at her hated hard words. So did her heart when she realized that the love between us was gone. She cried half the night and hardly slept at all. Daddy doesn't look at me, and if he doesn't for a second, if he does for a second, then I read in his eyes the words, How can you be so unkind? How can you bring yourself to cause your mother such sorrow? They expect me to apologize, but this is something I can't apologize for because I spoke the truth and Mommy will have to know it sooner or later anyway. I seem, and indeed I am, indifferent both to Mommy's tears and Daddy's looks, because for the first time they are both aware of something which I have always felt. I can only feel sorry for Mommy, who has now had to discover that I have adopted my own attitude. For myself, I remain silent and aloof, and I shall not shrink from the truth any longer, because the longer it is put off, the more difficult it will be for them when they do hear it. Yours, Anne.